So welcome, welcome to everyone to our week three awards ceremony for the Repicture STEM Summer Program. Uh, again, my name is Lynn Mayo, I'm CEO of Repicture and we're really excited to have you here this week. So first of all, celebrate, celebrate. You have successfully completed week three of the program. It's halfway through, done a great job. So congratulations to everyone on that. What I wanna do is give some really quick highlights of the week. Um, we'll spend most of the time talking about the awards do a weekly drawing, and then talk about upcoming awards. Awards are available for this week. And then we've added something. We've added an after party. So if you're a winner, you're a nominee, or you're just on this call, we invite you to join our after party. And just some highlights from the week. We've had, if you don't know, we've had 220 people about, it's actually a little more now, um, that have actually applied to the program. And we are continuing to accept applicants. So if you know someone who might be interested, please have them apply. 60 people we've accepted and they've made it onto our leaderboard. So congratulations to, to each of you who made it onto our leaderboard. You're part of a select group. And so far we've had 80 projects nominated for awards. And I gotta say for, for this week's awards, the projects you all submitted were fantastic. Um, so really excited about, about all 80 but especially the ones this week, it did, did a great job. So schools with the most total points on the leaderboard. So this is the most points that are on the leaderboard and the school with the fifth most points is actually Grinnell College. So congratulations to, to that. The school with the fourth most points is Oberlin College. Coming in third is Gettysburg College. So they have been used to being on to, um, number one, they've actually moved down to number three. So we'll see what they do next week. So second place, the college with the second most total points on our leaderboard is Prairie View A&M University. And number one, the college with the most points on the leaderboard is University of Houston. So congratulations to everyone from University of Houston. Um, congratulations to everyone at the top. Again, encourage you to to, um, to invite your, your peers to join us. So, we got a little Snoopy dance going on there. So the majors, the majors with the to most total points on the leaderboard. Coming in fifth is computer science. Coming in fourth is physics. Chemistry is the third most common total points on the leaderboard. Coming in second is civil engineering and the major with the most total points on our leaderboard is biology so again congratulations to each of um, these majors as well as all the other majors encourage you to, to to go for those points and see if we can get some new majors on there next week so also want to give a, a shout out to those people who have referred a friend this is an easy way to get three points if you refer a friend and your friend completes their profile to 75%. So we want to give a, a thank you to Daniela Rez uh, from Prairie View A&M University. She um, referred Christy Ro Rosales. Um, Christy is from the Lebanon Valley College. And so welcome to Christy and, and thanks for, for referring a friend there. And also Elisa Miller, Elisa Miller from Gettysburg College referred uh, Navita Dobe, a high school student. So again, welcome and congratulations on that. So with that, I'm gonna move over to the red carpet. Okay, so welcome to the Repicture Week 3 Award Ceremony. <laughs> So we have a lot of awards to give out today and I'll just give you the summary of what we're gonna give out. So again, you all did a fantastic job this past week as far as your write-ups, really excited to, to have given out these awards. And we're gonna start with the best profile. The best profile goes to the author of a complete and engaging profile 
that details the writer's STEM journey. And we actually give out two awards based on the level of experience of the students. And what these students will get is recognition that they can add to their resume profile as well as other items. So the best profile for a high school student and the winner is Jennifer Poek. Jennifer is a high school student and Jennifer lived her first 13 years in a rural area in Central America. She became interested in medicine after seeing many people with little or no access to the medical help they needed. So congratulations to Jennifer. And the best profile for a college student. And the winner is Daniela Ruiz. Daniela goes to Prairie View a and University, and Daniela is focused on medicine because she has lived in many different communities where she saw the struggle to access proper health care. So congratulations to, to Daniela. So our next award is gonna be the AISC Sponsored Awards. And to present these awards, we have Maria Manukin. Maria is the Education Program Manager of the American Institute of Steel Construction. Thanks, Lynn. I'm so pleased to join all of you today, so thanks for having me. Uh, before we jump into the awards, I'd just like to talk briefly about AISC. The American Institute of Steel Construction is a nonpartisan, not-for-profit technical institute and trade association established in 1921 to serve the structural steel design community and construction industry in the United States. Our mission is to make structural steel the material of choice. We hope that our involvement in RePicture's summer resume builder program gives students a chance to learn a little bit more about structural steel projects and possible career paths. Now for the awards. So for our AISC sponsored awards, um, each of these projects have been reviewed by industry professionals and the winners of our projects will receive an AISC publication of their choice. The first award is the AISC Early Skyscrapers Award. And this award goes to the best write-up of an early skyscraper constructed before 1940. And our nominees are Early Skyscraper, The Home Insurance Building by Kitang Han, Flatiron Building by Tazir Al Salihi, and Willis Tower by Braden Godfrey, and Empire State Building by Braden Godfrey. And the winner is Kitang Han. Kitang is a a student at Cooper Union, and she wins for her project, Early Skyscraper, the Home Insurance Building. The Home Insurance Building in Chicago was built in 1885 and was the first skyscraper in America to have a core of metal embedded in the masonry. Congratulations, Kitang. Our next award is the AISC Modular Construction for Affordable Buildings. This award goes to the best written project that uses steel for modular construction. And our nominees are Rockefeller University, SNFDR River Campus by Kitan Han, Willis Tower by Braden Godfrey, and Paliuka Harvard Life Lab at Harvard University by Tasir Al Salihi. And our winner is Kitang Han. And again, she wins for Rockefeller University SNF DR River Campus. And the building designers of this new biomedical research building use modular construction to address space constraints and reduce cost and schedule. Congratulations, Kitang.
And I just want to say thanks to all the students that participated in the AISD awards this week. And we look forward to seeing the award submissions in the coming weeks. Thank you, Maria. Our next award is going to be the WEF Trading Water or Wastewater Award. And presenting this award is Catherine Callahan. She's the Repicture Data Manager. This award is sponsored by the Water Environment Federation, or WEF, and WEF is a technical and educational organization with over 35,000 members representing water quality professionals around the world. And this award goes to a project about how water is supplied to meet the needs of people, industry, and, or nature. And the winner will receive admission to the Virtual Water Environment Federation's Technical Exhibition and Conference. And the nominee for this award is Naraj with validating industrial waste through carbon dioxide sequestration. And the winner is Naraj. Naraj is from the University of Houston and his project was about converting industrial and municipal waste into a valuable product through carbonation. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Our next award will be Best Innovation in STEM. And to present this award is Dr. Mosey London. Dr. London is a civil engineer and is a moderator for this Wednesday's Repicture webinar, Celebrating Black History and Culture from a Science and Engineering Perspective. Uh, the, this award, Best Innovation in STEM, this award goes to a project that highlights the innovation and is well-written, detailed, and presented in a creative, unique, or interesting way. Uh, for this award, there will be two winners, and a part of the award will be uh, recognition added to the resume and profile. So the nominees are Self-Expiring Medical Packaging by Shalusa P. The Use of Structural Steel in Module Construction by Norin S. Has Technology Really Taken Over? by Diana V. A Living Building, Phillips Center for Sustainable Landscapes, Landscapes by Selma S. Making Buildings Out of Mars Dust by Kayla L. And last, Machine Learning and Mass Photography Identification by Sam K. And the Innovation in STEM winner is Chalisa P, congratulations. Chalisa P is a high school student, student and she won the nomination for self expiring medical packaging. Expiration dates printed on medicinal packaging are difficult to interpret in underdeveloped and developing countries. This new self expiring medic medical packaging is more effective than traditional labor. Congrats. And for the second award winner for the Innovation in STEM is Kyla L. Congrats. Kyla L. is a current high school student, and she won the nomination for Making Buildings Out of Mars Dust. Her project is based on a 3D printing machine that's being developed to work with materials found on Mars and the moon, so someday it could be used to make houses on Mars. Congrats, Kayla. Our next award is the Best Research Award. And presenting this award will be Danielle Kleinberg. Danielle is a Repicture Student Engagement Manager. So thank you for the introduction, Lynn. Um, the Best Research Award goes to a project about a research study or a paper that best describes the background methods and benefits. So the winner of this award, among other things, will receive a $25 Amazon gift card. And the nominees are The Effect of Chemotherapeutics on Mouse Melanoma Cells by Tatum Welsh, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory by Alyssa Miller, Neurobiology of Sleep and Circadian Rhythms by Margaret Wu, The Accidental Creation of the Sturtlefish by Helen St. John, 
Mega Droughts and Snow Melt in Southwest North America, also by Helen St. John. And finally, Machine Learning and Mass Spectroscopy Identification by Sam Kearney. And the winner for this award is Sam Kearney. Congratulations. Sam's project was about machine learning and mass spectroscopy identification. And um, a summary of this is a machine learning model was built to quickly and efficiently identify unknown compounds with mass spectro spectroscopy. Um, Sam Kearney goes to Oberlin College and congratulations on winning this award. And the next award is Best Written Project. <clears throat> to present this award is Lauren Murphy, the Repicture Communications Manager. Thanks, Lynn. So for this award, the Best Written Project goes to one that is exceptionally written. It is a winning project that is presented in a detailed, creative, and unique or interesting way. And among other things, the winner will receive recognition added to the resume and profile and bragging rights. Best written project nominees are The Use of Structural Steel in Modular Construction by Noren Shaheen, Has Technology Really Taken Over by Diana Varela Atje, Osmo Regulation, The Inner Workings of the Human Kidneys by Nivedita Dube, The James Webb Telescope by Millie Esme Leonard, Reacting Anew Asymmetric Aldol Reactions with Carol Lewis Bases by Elizabeth Rigby and Poverty Diseases by Jennifer Prock. And this week, the winner is Noran Shaheen. Congratulations. Noran wrote about the use of structural steel in modular construction. And this project features three companies that have all adopted modular construction in some or all of their projects. And the next award is Most Interesting Project. Presenting this award is again, Dr. London. Thank you, Lynn. So for the Most Interesting Project, this award goes to a unique STEM project that is well written. Amongst other things, the winner will receive recognition added to the resume and profile. The nominees are Neurobiology of Sleep and Circadian Rhythms by Margaret W. The In Invention of Dumplings by Shalissa P. Poverty Dis Diseases by Jennifer P. The Accidental Creation of the Turtle Fish by Helen St. John. The James Webb Telescope by Bill E. e. Making Buildings Out of Mars Dust by Kayla L. The Effects of Chemotherapeutics on Mouse Melanoma Cells by Tayden W. Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory by Alyssa M. Osmoregulation: Regulation, The Inner Workings of the Human Kidney by Never D. And the winner is? Congrats to Helen St. John. Helen St. John is a student at Grinnell College and she won the nomination for the accidental creation of the Sturtle Fish. The project summary is, while looking for ways to breed an endangered species of fish in captivity, researchers in Hungary accidentally created a hybrid of Russian sturgeon and American paddlefish, deemed the sturtlefish. Thank you for having Thank you. So next is the leaderboard a winner. So the coveted leaderboard spot goes to the person with the most points this week. And points are based on the project submitted, the friends referred, and what awards they won. And we give this award to two winners. And the winners receive a one-on-one -on -one session with professional in their field. So the winners are Jennifer Puick and Kwai Tung Hung. Jennifer is a first place winner. She's a high school student. And Kwai Tung, it comes in second, and she's from Cooper Union. So congratulations to Jennifer and Kwai Tung. And the last award is the People's Choice Award. 
Presenting this award is Katherine Callahan. Thank you, Lynn. The People's Choice Award is voted on by your peers as their favorite project and write-up. The winner of the People's Choice Award is chosen by popular vote and they will receive, in addition to other things, is recognition added to their resume and profile. Here are the nominees for the People's Choice Award and all of these projects have been nominated for other awards so we will get right into the winner. And the winner is, we have a two-way tie for first place. So the first winner is Jennifer Kwok. And Jennifer won for her project called Poverty Diseases. Jennifer is a high school student and the project focused on making people aware of how our actions affect environmental problems and the consequences of those environmental problems have on our health. And the second winner is Salma Shaheen. Salma is from the University of Houston and she wrote about a living building FIP Center for Sustainable Landscapes. Meet the FIP Center for Sustainable Landscapes, one of the greenest buildings in the world. This living building produces zero net energy per year. Congratulations to both of the winners. So now we'll do our weekly drawing. And for the weekly drawing, drawing will be Lauren Murphy. This week we're back with the silver bowl. Um, the first 20 people who submitted projects will be entered into this drawing. So now without further ado, we will announce the winner and the winner of this week's weekly drawing is Tayden Welch. Congratulations, you won. Um, we'll be in contact with you about receiving your prize. Thanks to all who submitted projects this week, and now back to Lynn. So thanks again. This week, we're just incredible projects. We really are, are so excited about all the projects you all submitted. So congratulations to you all. But a really good thanks to so good thanks to everyone. So the upcoming week, what's in store for upcoming week? We want to first of all thank our, our current and upcoming sponsors and we'll tell you some of the upcoming awards. Our theme this week, week number four theme is social justice. And so what does that mean? It means providing equal access to opportunities including health, food, clean water, clean air, safety from natural disasters, housing, education, natural areas. It's basically a lot of what most STEM professionals do and how do we provide equal access to all these great resources. So for the social justice awards, we will have a best social justice in STEM award. Water Environment Federation is also sponsoring a WEF clean water award and the prize for that is free registration to their national conference. We have a best climate change and environmental impact project. And then we're excited, we also have from uh, QNAP is a big data for social justice award. And because this is a little different, we're actually providing an additional week for, for this award. And the award winner will get both a $50 gift card, but also an opportunity for a career information session with a growing company, a company that is often hiring. So if you're interested in using data for social justice, we encourage you to submit for that award. If you're interested in structural engineering, AISC has some additional awards that they're sponsoring that are due this week. We have the iconic and innovative Bridge Award. We have the Steel Connection Award, and we have Sustainability in Steel Award. We also have with AISC what we're calling the best interview. And that is an opportunity for you to sign up and talk with the structural professional about their project and the work they've done. So here's an opportunity for you to continue and start your networking with professionals. And I wanna make it clear, you don't have to be a structural engineer to, to, uh, to sign up and have this interview. You just need to have an interest in structural engineering or the structural um, design, architecture, steel. If you're interested in any of those areas, sign up to, to be part of the interview. And I also want to make sure you're aware of the AISC is generously giving awards 
of a $100 gift card to the overall leaderboard winner. So if you look on our leaderboard, you'll see a special column for AISC, and that's gonna go to the leaderboard winners at the very end. So we'll announce those on, on our final award ceremony on August 17th. We also, in conjunction with actually next week, which is the Hidden STEM Professionals, we're announcing some awards, so you have an opportunity to start early on these, because these prizes are also $100 gift cards. And Dr. Mosey, London is sponsoring, very generously sponsoring a project that was done by African Americans in STEM. Uh, American Society of Civil Engineers Natural Capital Section is also sponsoring a $100 prize, which is st um, Hidden STEM Heroes of Nation Capital. So where African Americans have had input into our infrastructure in the nation's capital. So we're really excited about those awards. Um, again, it's the next week's themes. We wanna give people plenty of time to, to compete for that $100, and the projects will be due on August 9th. We also have, for those of you who are maybe more interested in software, robotics, coding, basically building anything, we have the Innovative Application Builder Award. And this is actually gonna be two awards, one from Analogy Plus and one for Zonexus. And they're gonna give between $50 and $100 gift certificate, where you can get a career informational center, um, session excuse me, you can get a career informational session with Analogy Plus, which is an innovative company helping a lot of companies uh, grow. And then if you're in the San Francisco area, if you know someone in the San Francisco area that might be interested in this, students in the San Francisco area have the opportunity to interview for one week paid internship with Zonexus. And so again, we wanna give you plenty of time for those. So those are gonna be due August 9th also. Now this week, as part of our our themes, um, we also want to have one topic that you can choose the topic you want to do. And that's that this week we're going to have the best overall project, any topic. So if you're not interested in any of the topics I talked about, find a topic that you're interested in it, um, submit it, and potentially win our best overall project. So we want to remind everyone about this Wednesday, we have our Celebrating Black History and Culture from a Science and Engineering Perspective. Uh, Dr. London is going to be um, heading that panel discussion from a number of staff from AECOM um, about um, like history, culture, and really talk about it kind of from the transportation planning um, in urban setting. So we say it's a moment, it's a person, a moment, an experience. We hope you join us um, this Wednesday, 12 o'clock Eastern time. We have the same uh, type full week. Um, I'm not going to go into the details here, but please check the, the website for all the opportunities this week. So again, you're invited to, to stay on um, line. We'll open this up to everyone to the after party. We'd love to hear those of you who won awards, those of you who are nominated for awards, those of you interested in this. We just love you to have you stay on and we'll talk in our little after party. So again, congratulations to everyone. Um, you did a great job. Thank you for attending this. And we're looking forward to seeing you next week at next week's award ceremony.